Please welcome to the stage, Joanna Shields. Hi everyone, I'm Joanna. I'm the CEO of Benevolent. I'm really excited to be with you here today. I've got three of my colleagues that came in from London along with me. And um, we're excited today because we're gonna take you on a journey into a, um, a new revolution in drug discovery and development. So together with the three of them, there's Ali, Pajita, and um, Jamie, we're gonna show you something we haven't shown before, and that is how our AI platform works in the development and treatment of new dise of diseases and by developing new medicines to treat them. I'm sure you guys have been hearing here at South by Southwest a lot about moonshots. You know, moonshots are this, this great initiative where you apply technology for the benefit of humanity. Well, at Benevolent, our moonshot is tackling challenging diseases that have no cure. We believe at Benevolent that unconventional thinking combined with purposeful technology can truly make an impact on the world. So this afternoon, we're gonna to talk to you about how we do just that. By unlocking the power of scientific biomedical data and enabling scientists, engineers, and researchers to come up with new discoveries that human beings would not be able to come up with on their own. But before we begin, I wanna get serious for a second. I wanna to talk to you and put this all into context. How many of you receive requests like this, asking you to help raise funds for a loved one that is suffering from a devastating disease? I'm sure that almost all of you do. Disease doesn't discriminate. It impacts us all. And although there are millions of campaigns like these, all too often, far too many people lose their lives. Their lives are being cut short. For those who have lived through the agonizing experience of someone that they love being diagnosed with a devastating disease, you know, you suddenly become this amateur cl clinician. The impact of it really hits home. You start studying everything you can find about that disease. You look at um, clinical trials, surgical methods, treatment protocols, pain management. You engage with anyone who has a point of view that might give you some insight into one nugget that might change the prognosis or help the person that you loved. But all too often, there's no help to be found. Now you might be thinking in a world where so much has been reimagined by technology, how is it that we still have so many diseases that have no treatments, and so many families and so many loved ones suffering from rare and devastating diseases? It's an enormous challenge. Now, according to one of the disease ontologies we use to understand the number of diseases out there, there's 23,538 diseases that have been identified in the world. Now, according to the US Food and Drug Administration, only 3% of those diseases have treatments currently. Now, I think that you must, you must gasp when you hear such a statistic, because it's absolutely astonishing that for all those diseases, only 3% have a treatment. So there's that many families that have no hope. Now, in spite of the tens of billions that's being spent today on research and development, there's still thousands of diseases without any treatment at all. And there's over 300 million people living er every day with rare diseases that unless we disrupt the economic model of the way diseases or drugs are developed, and unless we develop new treatments using technology, there won't be a treatment developed for those 300 million people anytime soon. But let's talk about the, you know, the size and the scale of this problem. You know, it costs $2.5 billion to come up with a new drug today, and it takes 10 to 15 years. Furthermore, the top 10 selling drugs in the market, the ones that you hear about on television every day when you're watching TV, those drugs work for 30 to 50% of the patients they're prescribed for. Imagine any other industry where, you know, if 70% of the people that were using a product had that product fail. I mean, it's just incredible that we're failing patients on such a massive level. Now, you might be wondering, why is it that there's so few treatments for disease and why this problem is so challenging? Well, first of all, biology is incredibly complex. 
The human body is a product of millions of years of evolution. We, our own bodies are, you know, you know, decades and you know, thousands and millennia of years um, in terms of mutations and permutations that make each and every one of us a unique individual. If you combine that with the 37 trillion cells that are in the human body, it makes us the most complex data system ever created. Now, although you and I might be diagnosed with the same disease, because it's, we have the same symptoms or our disease is located in the same part of the body, realistically, we have very different diseases, and that's why it's so hard to fight disease. The underlying molecular mechanisms, the pathways, the biological processes that are unique to every one of us make it really difficult to understand and diagnose that disease and develop a treatment for it. Another factor is that we as humans are only able to consume and comprehend so much information. Now today there's been this explosion of biomedical data. There's so much information out there and it's growing exponentially. But we as human beings are only able to absorb and process the same amount. There are 10,000 scientific papers published every day. Combine that with the millions of patents, chemical databases, clinical trials, and all the other relevant data that would be useful in developing and designing new treatments for patients. It's a wonder that scientists come up with anything at all. The sheer volume of research that's being produced makes it impossible for any one scientist or team of researchers to make sense and comprehend all that information. But while this vast and expanding corpus of data continues to grow, and it represents this human, human limitation, it lends itself perfectly to machine learning, and that's what we're gonna talk to you about today. AI can help us uncover relationships between diseases and symptoms, drugs and their effect, which patients might respond to a treatment, and much more. Relationships that would not have previously been uncovered due to this overwhelming volume of biomedical information and its inherent complexity. Our mission at Benevolent is to unlock the potential of scientific data turning it from information that overwhelms us into knowledge that can inspire us. We have a world-class team of over 200 biologists, chemists, data scientists, working every day to harness the power of AI and to unlock new insights that might help them disrupt the way we design and develop medicines for patients so that no disease goes untreated. It's a journey that starts with formulating a hypothesis that predicts the underlying cause of a disease, and through many rounds of experimentation and testing, we validate that hypothesis. Then we turn to chemistry. We turn to designing, synthesizing, and developing that model, that molecule using AI. And this is, presents a radically different approach. And the last thing that we do is we look at the right patients that will respond to that drug and we design a clinical trial that's meant to support them and to ensure that they get the maximum therapeutic benefit.